How's it going, everybody? We have some brand new breaking news regarding the fight between Tommy Fury and Jake Paul. Tommy Fury, the undefeated 7-0 up-and-coming boxer, taking on the Disney Channel star Jake Paul. These two up-and-coming fighters were supposed to originally meet in December of 2021. That was left surrounded in much controversy. Tommy Fury had to eventually pull out of that fight in December because of a few broken ribs he sustained during his training camp that then eventually led into a chest infection. He claimed that's why he had to pull out of the fight in December, which led into Jake Paul having his infamous rematch against Tyron Woodley. Now, these two social media stars are set to meet on August 6th, 2022 in New York City at the Madison Square Garden. But today, June 28th, 2022, Tommy Fury has taken to his Instagram to share a bit of unfortunate information that Tommy Fury is not allowed access into the United States of America. Tommy Fury was set to travel to the United States for a for a promotion presser for this fight with Jake Paul. Tommy Fury claims that he was at the airport and was denied entry onto the airplane, taking him to the United States of America. Tommy Fury claimed that he was told that he knew the reason why, but Tommy Fury reassured us that he does not know the exact reason why, and that it's a more controversial government issue that he claims is more important than the fight itself, but he has not backed out of this fight. He still wants the fight to go on. This fight is still on, but Tommy Fury has some things to figure out before August 6th, how he can get himself and his team into the United States of America. Very vague, very broad, not much information, but let's go ahead and take a look at what Tommy Fury posted to his Instagram account this morning. I just want to come in here and set the record straight before anybody else tries to. Me and my team this morning arrived at Heathrow Airport, ready for the press conference, ready to fly out. And as soon as I entered the airport, I got pulled to one side and I was told by the Homeland Security officer that was there that my Esther had been denied and I wasn't able to travel to the USA for a reason that I apparently know. I can stand here and say I've done absolutely nothing wrong and I have no clue why I'm not allowed to travel to the USA. Um, and like I said, I've been training for a fight this whole time, you know, and that's all I've been doing. I have no clue why they would not la allow me to travel today um, and neither does any of my team or my lawyers. So now I'm having to go to the embassies and all this sort of stuff trying to resolve it. And I'm in the middle of training, guys. I don't know why this has happened today. It's a massive shock to me and my whole team. So obviously, it's a matter that needs to be resolved. It's government issues. You know, it's a lot bigger than the fight right now, and I'm just trying to get it sorted, but I just wanted to let you all know where it was at. So there you have it, information straight from the horse's mouth. A lot of boxing fans were very much looking forward to this fight because they feel like this is Jake Paul's first real test against a legitimate boxer. Tommy Fury 7-0 giving Jake Paul his first real test. Ladies and gentlemen, August 6th is just five short weeks away. Tommy Fury against Jake Paul once again up in question, up in controversy. Will this fight finally happen? Time will tell. But if you found this video helpful or entertaining, give it a like, I would really appreciate it. Share this video with a friend who you think would enjoy it. Subscribe to this channel if you're new, and we'll talk to you again soon.